It looks like something in the distance. What is going on there? Look at that. What? Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Anjosi and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be playing the role of a Coast Guard here on the Soy Islands. We're going to see what trouble we can get ourselves into and what we can maybe find here in the world of Stormwax. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and remember the little bell icon to be notified on upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So that all said, Let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So we've had some reports from some traveling fishing vessels that there's been a reported sighting of a mysterious village or island with some inhabitants on it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading out south of the Soy Islands here and seeing if we can try and spot it. Apparently the reports say that they've seen some people on there but I'm not too sure and obviously we have nothing on our map that indicates that there is an island there or there's actually even any people living there. So we're going to try and head out and explore and see if we can find this island and actually kind of understand what's going on there. It's very interesting and very weird at the same time. Now we've got the NJ patrol vessel here that I released quite a while back uh, when we had the multiplayer update. So we're going to be getting in that, getting it all started and we're going to go out and see if we can try and find this. Now we're going to be using our radar. Hopefully we should be able to spot it and the radar will pick up anything. So let's go and get inside here. So jump into our cabin here and let's go and get everything started. So we'll get the engine up and running. Let's get our APU up and running too. Uh, we'll do, let's see, let's go vessels running and we'll get some spotlights, no, deck lights, no, we'll be fine there. Cool, okay. So we've got that running. We don't need anything in the commander seat. We do need our radio systems up and running and then we'll get our navigation stuff also up and running. So let's see, so we'll get navigation system screens on. Uh, we can do radar power also, so we can guess we can turn that off, turn that on. Cool. Okay. So we are currently here at the south, and we're going to be heading down. I think I'm going to be plotting a course to go down, and then we'll do a nice little search grid around this general vicinity. So if we go and search downwards here, we'll be going in that general vicinity there and seeing if we can find anything. Let's grab into our driver's seat here. We'll get our coxswain screens on. So we might even need to switch over to a night vision or IR mode. But I think for now we should be fine. So we got that up and running. We engines are running. We should be able to just move out of here. So let's go and take off. Cool. So you can see the lighthouse is just in that general direction. So let's go and bring the vessel down there. Let's get into sport mode here. Okay, so we have the island just over there and reported sightings are somewhere south of the Sawyer. So we'll head in a general south direction and see what we can find here. We can obviously switch our screens. Okay, so you can see in that general area, this is where we've had some reported sightings. So we'll head down that area, see if we can find anything. We've still got the lighthouse on our right, which is fine. You can see we are going in a southerly direction. We'll see what we can find. Don't know if we're going to hear anything over on the radar. Uh, actually, let's get the radar on. Might as well do that. So let's get the radar on. See if we spot anything. Let's actually maybe increase that a bit. So, so far, nothing. Let's start heading maybe down a little bit southeasterly direction and see if we can't spot anything. We can also move up into the flybridge. Uh, we might get a better visual from up there. So let's go up there. We obviously got all our defensive weapons just in case we have any issues. Let's switch the controls up here. Let's get our screens on. Maybe we get a better visual sighting from up here. It's very hard to see everything. Let's see if we can find anything on this radar. So we seem to get some reportings just to the right here, as you can see on the radar. So let's make a little bit of a right turn. See if we can't find anything. It seems like we're just about in the right direction now, so we'll head that way. Something big coming up on our radar just in front of us. Now that could also be a Megalodon, it could be sharks. Not too sure, we're just going to have to keep an eye out for that. 
it's apparently whatever is on our radar we've gone past. So possibly a false sighting, maybe some sharks that got picked up on the radar. But for now, we'll just keep on heading in this general direction, see if we can't find anything. So, something apparently underneath us and also on our left. Okay, so that's probably what that was, was the little box that was picking up on the radar. So we'll ignore that sighting. There was probably another box back on the right. Okay, so let's carry on going and let's see if we can't find this mysterious island somewhere. Still nothing on the radar here. Seems like we've got something on the left there. So it's kind of like vanishing and coming. Ooh, something very big on the left. So let's head down that dire general direction. Let's see if we can see what that is. Okay, so it seems like there's something for an island there on the left. So let's make our way in that general direction. Start turning the vessel. Hopefully the lightning is going to come back and we can actually see what that is. Get in that general direction there. I don't, still don't see anything on the map. So you can still see we've got something coming up on the radar. Should be in front of us soon. Don't see anything out here. You can see where we are now in relative to the island that's coming out. There's something definitely big there, so let's can we increase our zoom on that radar? Let's see what we can see. But very strong pulses here on this supposed island. We've never seen this island on the maps before, which is very interesting. Nothing on the radars before, and now all of a sudden, it looks like something in the distance. What is going on there? Look at that, what? It looks like some houses or something up on the rocks there. Let's make our way, see if there's any type of dock or anything, but look, what is going on there? It looks like a whole community out here. Very interesting. It looks like some people also reported. Yeah, look, there's someone up there waving at us. It was interesting. Let's go to the left here and let's see if there's any type of dock or anything that we can make our way up on. But you can see, wow, okay. It's quite big. So let's turn our boat here just to the left. Take it out of sports mode here. We'll just cruise in ever so slowly and see if we can just see. So it looks, yeah, look there. We've even got a little bit of a place there where we can go and rock the boat. There's some people up there too. What is going on here? Let's bring the boat in. Bring it in nice and slowly. Bring our power down. And then we can just go and... Bring the boat. Okay, what is going on? Let's grab some equipment just in case we need it. So, see if we can bring the boat in right next to it. Looks like the boat is perfectly in line there, which is great. We should be able to jump off without hitting ourselves. Okay, very interesting. What is going on here? Let's go and jump on this boat. So, it looks like traders in the water very hello sir what is going on here doesn't look like you want to talk to us so we'll just ignore him for now see if we can get up on here so it's starting to get a little bit dark here so it seems like they've got some electricity cables of some sort let's just go and explore this let's see what's going on in here so I get in so it looks like it's almost like a whole little island of inhabitants inside here looks like they got some solar panels maybe they need some electricity to power their their trailers okay hold on let's go and take this cable i want to see if we can try and get some power and i can not understand what's going on here so looks like all their power's gone out Let's carry on exploring this and see what we've got here. So we've got some more trailers going all around here. Maybe this person will talk to us. What's going on here? 
Have you guys been living out here? Look at that. Looks like a whole community. You got these little planks that go across. I got some crates here. There's another person over there. Got some more over on the rocks. Let's go and head out to that side. Let's see what's going on over there. Across the bridge, hopefully we don't fall inside. Into the water. Also hope there's no traps or anything on here. But look at what's going on. They've managed to build like a huge community out on this island. So it seems like they've been running on solar panels and they've just pretty much made a community out of trailers and things. Very interesting. But none of the none of these seems like they're actually connected to each other, which is quite interesting. Maybe some of them are left because I can see like there's trailers all on the rocks here and things. Some trailers look like they've fallen off from maybe some weather storms or something that we had. So it looks like you're producing their power from solar and also from wind here. So maybe we'll... So it looks like there's a medical one there. There's some type of radio tower. Maybe that's where people are. Or maybe that's where they were doing their communication. Let's just go and see what's going on up there. So we've got some, some cabins here. Oops. We just fell down. Oh, that was not good. See if we can try and make our way back up there now. So we're going to walk down here. So many cabins. Okay, so this is where we were earlier. Okay, so we're going to go up that walkway. Seems like they got some more solar panels. I don't know how they got all this equipment over here. How they built this community and how no one actually noticed. How no one really noticed this. We've only had a few reportings of this island, and only recently, and this couldn't have been constructed so quickly. So let's make our way back up here, see what's inside this tower. So we'll head through. So it looks like they have lighthouse. So they actually have their own little lighthouse here, which is quite interesting. I wonder if that rotates or Oh wow, it does too. So they must have run out of power and then slowly started to die off. But we've got power on this. I'm not too sure what's going on. Let's Can we go inside? So it seems like it's locked in there. But there's stuff actually in there. Let's... Can I... Oh, okay, we can open it. So let's go... What is in here? So it looks like there's a kitchen. There's some beds and possibly something else. Get some maybe can we get some power in here? Possibly. Let's see. Yeah, so we've got some lights in here now. So I wonder what happened. Let's go back out. This is very unusual. Okay, what else? Let's maybe ch check out the medical cabin, see if there's anyone inside there still alive. Otherwise, it's just the people that we saw earlier on. So we're gonna make our way down. Try and find this medical cabin wherever that was. There we go, so the medical cabin's over there. So let's go. So that's also out of power, so let's go and get, try and open this door. So, looks like they've got equipment. There's no lights. They've got equipment, there's no one in here. Very weird, okay, let's go out. Let's just then, can we get out? There we go. Okay. So yeah, very unusual. I can't believe they built this huge community. So we're going to have to try and take the few last people, the remaining survivors here, and bring them back to bring them back to the mainland. Maybe take them in for questioning and kind of understand what, what, how this was built, what happened, and what happened to everyone else that lived here. Because you can see there must have been quite a few people. We've got tons of cabins, but there's only the few survivors that we've seen. So let's go and get them, and we'll get them into the boat and see what the situation is here. Take them back, try and interrogate them, see if they need any medical assistance, and then try and get some answers out of them. 
So let's round these guys up and you can follow me. They're not even going to follow me. So I can't even... They're refusing to follow me. Wow, so we can't even... They refuse to come with us. I guess we're just going to have to head back and report this back to base. Very interesting. What a weird place. We have to come back here and do some more investigation. I think we'll get some of our team and do some more investigation on this island. Try and understand, question these people, what's going on? So I hope you enjoyed that. I have found this very interesting island. Uh, if you want to go check it out, I will link it in the workshop below. It's an awesome little environmental mod that was created for one of these inhabited little islands, um, but definitely really cool. As always, I'd love to hear your comments in the video description below, and hopefully you have enjoyed it and found some entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.